What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Zelda 2 the Adventure of Link in the last part um, We beat the second palace and got our attack power up to five and in this part Here's the mother of everything about bad about this game people have about this game because we're doing Death Mountain This is a picture-perfect definition of why I recommend it to max out your get up your up your stats as much as possible in the early temples because like say you enter this area with like Four health, four life, life at level four, and like magic, like magic and attack are both like level three. You're gonna have a harder time with this area because, like, because we have our attack power at five, a lot of those enemies are now gonna be beaten with one hit, even like two hits. Like, uh, if you talk to these, these guys right here, like that enemies that previously took multiple hits, they're now gonna take like two hits. So, uh, that's really solid. So, um, there's also another thing I personally dislike about the Death Mountain area is, um, let's say it's pretty cryptic on how to even get to Death Mountain in the first place. Cause I'll kind of like, uh, I'll kind of demonstrate it in this, uh, once we get to the other side. Cause like, we unfortunately have to go to this cave again to reach Death Mountain because I game o I deliberately game over to end the last recording. By the way, that, those, um, those bat enemies now are done in one hit now that our attack power is five. So, um, I don't know why I went for that, but, um, yeah, so, uh, get the, just get the round enemies anyway, so, um, yeah, a lot of enemies that we previously struggled with earlier are gonna be taken out in one hit, but, um, or even, or even like, even if not that, two hits, so, like, um, this is basically why I recommended maxing out your attack in the early portion of the game, because, um, if you can get up to death mount with five attack power, I'll have every right to demonstrate. Even four attack power would be good enough to beat death mountain, but um... Alright, so after I got out of that area, so I'll kind of demonstrate how Deltus can, can be cryptic at times. Do you want to know how to access death mountain? You have to go up here, up three, and then left one, and then you reach this house. You need to go to this house to advance in the game. Bagu is my name, show my note to Riverman. Yeah, not only that you have to go to this house to advance in the game, nowhere in the game is it mentioned. So yeah, this is like some of the most things you need Ninten some like Nintendo power, or even like a modern day walkthrough for, but like, um, yeah, that's kind of one problem I do have with Zelda 2 is that it can be brutal first time to beat without a guide. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to uh get this area th right here now um there's a pee bag contains 100 XP uh keep in mind about pee bags though you can only get them once so uh, be careful if you on where you get them don't get them if you have like zero lives if you're on your last life just be careful about when those there's also gonna be one up dolls but I'll elaborate more on those later but um Anyway, so now we're in the uh, town of Saria. I know because I had a failed take of this also, but um, we talked to this woman. I lost my mirror. So we have to go find her mirror in order to learn the next magic spell. You can technically learn this magic spell before you even go to pa the second palace, but uh, if we go here, I found a mirror under the table. Oh yeah. Wait, now that we have the, uh, now that we have the, uh, mirror, we might as well, um... Oh! You found my mirror. Follow me. She's gonna, uh, allow us to learn the next spell, which will also be very helpful for Death Mountain. I would also recommend having kind of these stats. Definitely have life and magic at... Definitely have magic at four and I'll attack at five and you'll have an easier time. So, um, and I'll also get to demonstrate a trick right here. So, um, the life spell allows us to refill three bars of health. So, um, once we, um, once we are, now there's also a trick in these, uh, ma these towns that we can use now that we uh, are full of health. So, uh, now we have uh, the life spell. Here's what I'm trying to do. Now we have the life spell, um, we can actually just use the life spell over here, then talk to the magic healer, so you, it kind of just saves you from having to go to the healer twice. How did you go to two different healers is what I'm trying to say. And so this is why we need to talk to the Bagu, and, uh, this guy... 
you know Bagu, then I can help you cross. This guy will not let us cross Death Mountain otherwise. Yes, the only way we can get to Death Mountain in Death Mountain is the only way we can advance in the game. So, um... Anyway, so I'll kind of show you the way through Death Mountain. Death Mountain can be a bit of a maze, but um, you kind of go down then right. And by the way, these blobs now are done, are now one shotters, but um, yeah, these enemies are now taken out in two hits, so that's solid. I'm gonna try to go for a life upgrade after this, also. But yeah, you'll rip through Death Mountain if you have five attack. Oh, is because like um, later on there's gonna be some enemies that would be brutal for this part of the game, but they take way less hits as long as you uh. Yeah, those they again they took uh, much like the other ones they took two hits. We're all, we're already almost halfway to a life upgrade, so uh yeah we we follow this path and um. So um. There we go. Gotta get out of there. We can ignore those enemies. By the way, these are the these are what makes this these these enemies right here are what make uh, Death Mountain kind of have a bad rep. The lizard guys will throw axes. There's a an orange variant and a red variant, and let's just say they're pretty brutal enemies for this point in the game. With five, with five, if we have five attack, they'll go down in two hits. This is basically why I recommended maxing out your attack like the early portion of the game. Want that magic? Unfortunately, we, we they'll be able to we'll be able to get magic in that easier later on. But um, if we go, um, yeah, we go over here and uh, we we should be also a level up. So um, we go right. There'll be those, uh, there'll be those flying skull enemies. I don't know what they're called officially. They're not Stalfos, I know that. We already saw Stalfos in the uh, second palace. Anyway, so, um, one thing, um, one thing I recommend doing first of all is, um, kill this red lizard guy first. They'll go down in three hits if you have the uh, five attack and um, use the jump spell. Grab this magic right here. Then once you grab that red that red uh, magic, uh, just heal your life afterwards. We should be almost one more like lizard enemy. We'll get to a level up and we'll be able to go up to we'll be able to upper life. So um, that'll be solid. Well, five li five life and five attack power. Now for realsies, uh, one more major enemy. Oh, and we even get a pee bag. I mean, that's awesome. So um, now um, I think it's I think that I think we either get I think we can um, I think for the next temple we can risk it and go to six um, and go to six attack, but um. It's a little risky, but I believe uh, as long as we don't die in Death Mountain, we could pull it off. The, 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 the orange lizards are taken down in like two hits if you have five attack. Death Mountain can be like a cakewalk if you have if you have the right attack. I'm not saying Death Mountain is like a cakewalk, but it's much, much easier. Like I'm plowing through this place. We go. Oh shit. Key bag. We need that. And uh, let's get our life up. And now we need to fall down this hole. We're not, not necessarily to fall down this hole, but uh, you know what I mean. We're gonna cast the shield because I know for a fact there uh, was a red lizard. I right, have to get the lizard like right when they're down beneath like uh, what the hell am I trying to say? 
Try not to get the lizard like right when they're down like uh, beneath a, wall, a ceiling because you'll have less room to hit them. I think we're gonna get magic up and then we'll have uh, I think we'll get magic up so because like the, the cheaper you can use the life spell the better because like the life spell is gonna be one of the most beneficial things in the whole game. Oh, we're not we're absolutely doing that. Going to um Now um you want to kind of cast a shield and you want to kind of lure this red lizard so that he's not he's not next he's not underneath a ceiling. That's kind of how you kill him. Be careful also because this lava is an instant death and we don't want to lose a life before the next palace. And uh yes. Cut. We're gonna have amazing stats for the third palace also because we're also almost to another level yet another level up Yeah, we're uh, we're like four we're like three-fourths away to another level up, but um, yeah jump over the axe and Then when you're about to land um, Basically hit them and that way you'll you're you're pretty you'll be pretty consistent if you it that way and we actually already have the item that it's needed to progress in the game. So we've kind of, we've technically cleared Death Mountain. So like if you can get the hammer in another item I recommend later, you got a game over on purpose to kind of save warp. Or if you have the NES second control, by the way, those enemies you cannot kill at this point in the game. This is gonna, we're gonna get an ability later that allows us to kill those enemies, but we don't, we cannot kill those enemies just yet. I wanted to go here intentionally because um just to get that extra 100 XP I just wanted to I no particular reason I didn't get that extra 100 XP because the closer we can get to a level up the better and we just have to get out of this place now there's one more area I want to go in death mountain before we're officially out of death mountain We are we're like 150 xp from a level up so uh that's really solid but um anyway so what we're gonna do now is um get this magic potion because we're going to need that now, there's also some of the items we want to get with the hammer so um yeah the way we get out of death mountain is either the way we came or this other area over here not uh no i do not want to E bag, I could use that. We're 100 XP from lava up, so um, yeah. Just be careful about the lava, because lava is instant death. We don't want instant death. Oh shit! Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. As long as we're, I, I just want to get the level up at least. Shit. Okay, there we go. We're fine. There we are. We're at, we're almost at a death mountain. So um, we just gotta um, go through these few areas right here. We gotta follow this yellow road. Eventually, there's gonna be a bridge. Actually, no, an area, a cave area, then a bridge. But yeah, there's the bridge. Once you're out of there, you're out of death mountain. Could have used a. That would have given me a level up also. And there's just one more room containing bubbles and a red lizard. And we are officially, we can now level up our magic. So, um, we can now level up our magic. So, uh, yeah, we're, I think we'll go for the standard, uh, heart, then, um, uh, we'll go for the standard life, then magic, then magic, life, then attack, then magic, the next level up. But, um, Every time you encounter uh, an enemy in the desert, it's just gonna be like this. Dodge like those fuzzy bits. Fireballs, whatever they're called. Or, um... Now there's gonna be a task we need to do. Um, I forget which one is which. I think this one's to get the uh, health upgrade, which we can use that. Yeah, so basically the point I'm trying 
one of the also one of the other points this is why basically i said throughout the whole course of the first couple dungeons that uh if you can get you'll have an easier time with the rest of this game if um you can get max out if you can get your stats as up as possible and up the stats as much as possible in the earlier dungeons I mean, there's a heart container so that's really solid So yeah, we're gonna go. I think we're gonna again. We're gonna go uh, heart and ma I think we're gonna go uh, health and magic. Um, I might go. I might spend the temple going for just for straight up six heart attack because I think I might just go for that. I don't know. Kind of depends. Um. Anyway, so you want to go back to where that uh that tall grass was before the uh, second palace because we need this to get the spell in the next town. Like I said, this is going to be a mini playthrough. I don't think this is going to last any longer than like eight parts. Maybe even nine. I don't know. This is like just a short mini playthrough. I'm posting on weekends. Okay, so you want to go in here because this is how we get the item. Careful there. They're, they're, they're more of those flying um, skull enemies. Or lizard enemies also. Uh, we're just gonna cast a shield. We have more health also than we did in Death Mountain, so that's solid. They t again, they take three hits with five attacks, so um, there's another one of these. Okay, we're already like a third of the way to leveling up health, so um, that's yeah, really solid, so um, Technically that, believe it or not, that's not actually a, um, a potion to heal your magic. That's a potion we're going to need to get the spell in the next town. Shit. Okay, I really got to concentrate. I really got to be paying attention to it. Like, um... Sometimes you're looking at how your recording's doing only you realize you're getting ambushed by uh float flying skull things. So uh sometimes it can even though sometimes it can be good for ben beneficial for some areas for racking up experience points, um sometimes it's annoying when you're trying to get from one place to the next, you have to keep stopping to fight enemies. That's um I don't know, that's kind of like um another reason what why might people might have against Zelda too, but um Go to the next town, and thankfully we didn't get into an enemy fight. Now, if we um, there's the uh, lady that restores our health. So might as well. Uh, go just use the uh, magic trick. I don't know. Somewhere in this town is where we need the poke for, but uh, we're just gonna double check. You can tell what it is because like uh, one of the people are gonna come out the doors. Kitty. Oh, and by the way, um, this is one spell that's going to drastically hit this. It's not a spell, but it's a, uh, I, it's going to be a weapon that drastically helps us throughout the rest of this game or an ability. Talk to him. When you pr jump, press down words to stab. And when we uh, jump and press the down button, we can do the down thrust, which is a very useful, it's going to be a very useful tool we're going to have to take out some enemies. Because like enemies that we might have struggled with earlier, we can just down thrust them like those boomerang guys. This house, and if we does the water of life, quick. Come with me. Yeah, Zelda 2 doesn't really have very good dialogue. I already made a whole video in short of I am error, but um. This magic word will give you power. We get the fairy spell, which we're gonna need the fairy spell to get to the next Dunt Palace. I 
need the fairy spell to get to the next palace. Now, um, believe it or not, it is also a little cryptic on how to get to the next palace. Um, kind of manipulate the enemy. So sometimes you can manipulate the enemy placement by, uh, basically as, as long as like, cause like, by the way, the, these enemies are much easier if you down thrust them in a five attack five. But, um, anyway, the, the way you get to this next palace is, um, you go down. I'm taking the right way, but um, and once you uh go downwards, you want to turn to a fairy. Make sure you have, have enough magic, also. Fairy spell is pretty expensive, it's almost as expensive as the life spell. By the way, we can take these enemies now out now with the down thrust. Also, these enemies are gonna be easier to take, so with these enemies. A lot of enemies from the early portion of this game would be really easy to take out the down thrust. Okay, so there is the third palace. Oh, fuck. All right, so there for real the third palace. So I'm gonna cut it off as part of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So um, next time on Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, we're gonna, go to the we're gonna tackle the third palace. See you guys then.